The R18 is a completely new car. There is nearly no part that is over the, just taken from the R15 into that car. We had to adapt to the completely new rulebook. That means we had to develop a completely new engine with a capacity of 3.7 liters instead of the 5.5 we've been running in the R15 and the R10 before. Uh, it's now to a V6 instead of a V12 and then V10. It's uh, as well a decision that uh, brings us a little bit even more close to what we have in our road cars and the things we learn in developing this race version is always helpful for our road car development and therefore also as well helpful for our customers that buy the cars in several years from now. What you see obviously on the car is the light technology which is completely new on the car. It's full LED lights. We are now offering them for the R8 and for the A8 in a special version. But this light development is as well something that will be helpful to bring LED lights more and more intense into the road cars. Uh, we did this together with the road car development people for the headlights and therefore again we have a very close link between what we are doing here in motorsports and what we can use for the development of the road cars. What is new else is a completely new six-speed gearbox, a completely new top which is made out of one piece of, of uh, and not like all the other tubs of two halves that have been glued together. It's a new technology which is even stronger and even lighter. And uh, it's a completely new aerodynamic concept because with the smaller engines there will be less engine power available and therefore the aerodynamic efficiency of the car is even more important. And therefore we worked very hard on being very efficient from the side of aerodynamics so that the car has good downforce and a very low drag. It has a very special look and I think it looks efficient uh, and our target was that it is efficient. Uh, we hope that a good look helps to be fast as well. It's difficult to say if automatically a good looking car is fast but one thing is sure, ugly cars have never been fast. Obviously we're learning with each step, with the from R8 to R10 to R15. Um, we're kind of very logical, natural steps with the R15 to the R18. Okay, now we have some slightly different problems to contend with, different solutions. It's, you're constantly moving with development and depending on what happens with regulations or what you're trying to achieve may steer you into a, a different direction but yeah it's a constantly evolving process. I think it will look pretty good going around the circuit I'm sure the fans and spectators will like it and I say they will either love it or hate it. Um, I don't know what the colour scheme is going to look like yet I mean that can have a very big impact on sometimes softening a car down and making it look a bit more friendly let's say if I had the choice myself, I think I'd like to see it running in the carbon black. I think if you look through history, you'll see that an ugly car is never a fast car. Um, I, and I think when you look at a car and it looks aggressive, it's normally a fast car. And uh, I think if Darth Vader had a car, then this would be his. To win Le Mans, you don't need a hybrid. You need a simple, you need a good working car with no technical problems whatsoever. And if you can do this without a hybrid, you are better off without a hybrid. But if you make an engine like the V6, you don't do it just for one year. Because of the change in size of the engine and everything, we said we need to have now a six-speed gearbox torque. It's getting lower, power generally gets lower, so you need more gears or the maximum gears. That's why we have now six. The next generation of cars will become even more 
uh, sophisticated and more complicated because with the fact that you have to use smaller engine displacement and less power, you try to get advantages or you look after advantages everywhere. And this makes a car more complex and more expensive, if you want, than ever before. But we always do and we try to develop technologies which are really usable also in production cars.